morpheme so if we take these words talks talker talked and talking so we find that these are individual words but they look like uh, a single element but if we segregate different parts of it we find that the talk uh, to the first word talks has an s which can be separated from it similarly talker has er and talk and both can be separated and talked has talk and id uh, ed that can be separated similarly talking so s e r e d or ing they are different segment from the word talk so word forms may consist of more than one segment or more than one element so as we have seen that uh, in these words that the word talk uh, has more uh, segments to it and it has different forms so all these elements are described as morphemes so the word talk and the s are two morpheme the word talk and er are two morpheme and similarly we can imagine talked and talking they are two morphemes we can define morpheme as a minimal unit of meaning or grammatical function so it got two things either it has a semantic function for example we know that the word talk has more meaning into it than s or than er or it has grammatical function it into it for example when we take talked we know that the ed has given uh, the uh, the word talk the meaning of past tense so units of grammatical function includes forms used to indicate past tense or plural etc so whenever we are talking about uh, grammatical morphemes they are the parts which give some grammatical functions to the uh, words the police reopen the investigation so if we look at in this word reopen re mean again right and ed has given it a past sense so it has a prefix as well as a suffix right so in this word we have two more uh, three morpheme in this one word so this one word consists of three morpheme whereas the the middle word which is open uh, carries semantic at more than pre and id it shows a grammatical function similarly if we take tourist it got three morpheme tour is and sir here is a test for a morpheme a morpheme is a short segment of language that meets three criteria so we can say that for a morpheme to be called a morpheme it must have three criteria three things in it one it is a word or part of word that has a meaning it must have some meaning for example we we say talk and add ing to it and make it talking so both talk and ing have some meaning though ing has some grammatical meaning but giving it giving the word talk a progressive meaning so for morphemes it is a condition that they must have some meaning they cannot be meaningless for example if we take the word talk and break it t a n l k so in that case they don't have any meaning so they won't they the these two instances will not be uh, uh, morphemes second thing it cannot be divided into small meaningful parts without violation of meaningless remainder as i just given you the example that if we were break the word talk into two the remainder will be meaningless so it cannot be possible it cannot be called a morpheme so we cannot divide a morpheme into smaller unit because uh, it has no meaning in it it reoccurs in differing verbal environments uh, with a relatively stable meaning so it reoccurs into stable a different environment for example 
let's take s of plural and add it with boys or girls or books it will give the same meaning similarly add ing to a word talk working playing they will the ink uh, form will have the same meaning so these three uh, conditions are very important for a morpheme unlikely for example we have unlikely so we know that this word consists of three meaning un has a meaning uh, likely has a meaning and ly has an grammatical meaning so same un can be used with unkindly and ly with unkindly so both both these uh, words have something common in it and they and the units or the segments have common meaning in it that uh, that are joined to the main word that is like and kind so single morpheme for example if we look at the word carpet carpet that something that we spread on the floor uh it it uh, it is one morpheme why it is one morpheme because if we break it into car and pet we do not get any meaning any partly meaning of the word carpet in it so we say that carpet is a single morpheme separately they are uh, they are words in their own but when they are joined together they they give it another uh, uh, they make another word which is carpet which has a different meaning but when they are separated they don't have any meaning of uh, their own left in it similarly we have the word garbage right we can have a word garb and age but when we break the word into garb and age there is no remainder of the meaning into it so we cannot say that this this word consists of two morpheme so this word is also a single morpheme so it's very important that it it is a smallest unit it's a meaningful unit and if it is uh, it is uh, uh, used with some other, with the same with some other word in the same environment it should have the same meaning so morpheme is a smallest unit of meaning or uh, semantic or grammar